Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. In today's hair tricks and tips video, I'm going to show you how to use hair beads. A lot of the tutorials I do on this channel feature hair beads in some way, from Vikings to Game of Thrones and the 100 and some original styles. The beads that I've always worn have come from an Etsy shop called Dwarvendom, which is technically a beard bead shop. But the folks there just expanded and opened up a shop for hair beads specifically called Widdershin's Hair Beads. So to celebrate their opening, we're teaming up to show you the cool things that you can do with hair beads and how to use them. First off, there are lots of different sizes of beads to choose from. Inside diameters range from 4mm to 10mm with lots of different styles. You can use them to decorate the lengths of braids or secure the ends of braids without hair ties. Securing them to unbraided hair works as well, and you can even do braided tiebacks with their special double hold bead. There are a couple different ways to attach the beads as well, so you can choose the way you prefer. Widdershin's beads come with little beading tools you can use to easily thread your hair through. To use these, first hook your section of hair into the crook of the wire and pull through the bead. Then position the pin on your hair where you want the bead to sit, and slide the bead over this pin to lock in place. If you use a bead width that eliminates any dead space around the hair section, this method makes the bead really secure. If your bead is a little on the loose side for your hair section, I like to use a clear rubber hair elastic to bind the hair first, and then slide the bead over the top of that. This provides a little more volume and friction for the bead to stay in place. Finally, if you only have the bead but no beading tool, you can still use the beads pretty effectively. In this case, braid the hair or twist up an unbraided section of hair so that there are minimal flyaways. Then wet the end of the section with water or your mouth and poke through the bead. After that, just slide the bead up over where you want it. Here you can use a pin or a hair elastic to hold the bead in place. You can even keep the bead on without either of these if you braid the hair and slide the bead up as high as it will go to make it really tight. And that's how to use these hair beads. Their range of styles and usability means that it's pretty easy to come up with lots of different things for yourself to do with these. In fact, if you make a style featuring beads in some way, and then take a picture, post it to Instagram, and tag me in the photo, you'll be entered into a giveaway to receive a free 5 bead kit from Widdershin's Hair Beads. Hopefully this quick hair tips video was helpful to you. If you liked it, make sure to check out Widdershin's Hair Beads Etsy page. Explore what you can do with these beads. And then don't forget to tag me in a photo of what you come up with so that you can be entered into the giveaway. Thanks for watching and see you again next time.